With the holidays quickly approaching, building a budget PC might not be feasible for everybody because of the prices going up due to the unavailability of certain parts and scalpers. A few months ago, I did detail how to build a budget PC for around $300, but for anybody who hasn't built a PC before and doesn't know a decent amount about computers, it's kind of a hard guide to follow and you might end up making some mistakes if you're just getting into PC building, which most budget builders probably are. So that option of building a budget PC using used parts is there for those people who are more adventurous and who have already built PCs in the past. However, I have a really great budget PC alternative for those who are just getting into PC building and want something that they can game on for around $200. This is where the Xbox One comes in and yes i know it's over five years old and is a console and not a pc however the reliable performance you're going to get from this at a relatively set price is incredible to my knowledge the xbox one currently can only be purchased used and I don't believe any retail store sells it new. I mean, why would they? It's like two Xbox generations behind at this point. Unlike buying used computer parts, getting the original Xbox One on eBay or Amazon used really carries no risk with it because they're not that sought after. A lot of people have bought them. They're very popular. So you can find some for around $200 and you don't have to be worried about getting scammed. The fact that this console is so old and the fact that, you know, it's a console will probably turn a lot of people off. However, don't count this product out. You can get up to 1080p 60fps gameplay out of this machine, which is generally the benchmark for a decent budget PC. One of the big reasons why the Xbox One is still a viable option at this point in 2021 is the fact that Xbox has made all of their Xbox One Series X games backwards compatible so that you can buy and use any new game with your old Xbox. That doesn't mean, however, that the performance of those games is necessarily going to be applicable. Some newer AAA titles are going to be choppy and the loading times are going to be long just because they weren't made in the same era as this product and they weren't designed for it. But that doesn't mean recent AAA titles are unplayable, except for maybe Cyberpunk 2077, because Xbox has made these backwards compatible for a reason. They're not going to sell and advertise this feature if it's not going to work at all. But if you put aside the newest AAA titles, this Xbox One really shines for the price of $200. Games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, Sea of Thieves, and many more can run on this Xbox One at 60 FPS with little to no problems. And considering that these types of games, FPS style games, are the most popular on the Xbox One, I don't see the performance issues being much of a factor for most buyers. If you do decide to buy this console, you can get the double PC and console Game Pass, so you can get a ton of new games for free, well, for free, you have to pay for the subscription obviously, but you can get it on both your console and your future PC. I'm subscribed to Game Pass and I really like it. They constantly add new games and they don't remove games very often at all, so if you really like a game, it most likely will stay on there for the definite future. When oh, speaking of subscriptions, Xbox has mostly done away with their Xbox Live requirement for free games with online functionality. So if you download a free game like Fortnite and Apex Legends, you won't have to pay for online use because let's face it, there's nothing you can do in those games if you can't access the internet. And I think this is a big change and one of the reasons why I'm actually able to pick this as an alternative to a PC now. But at the end of the day, this is not going to replace a decent gaming PC by any means. It'll be more of like a placeholder if you do decide to buy one. And for those who are looking to get into gaming and don't necessarily care that they don't have an actual PC, this is honestly a great option, as I said, for the general set price of only $200.
And while you're waiting to get your hands on a regular budget PC, you can plug in a keyboard and mouse to this to get more of a PC gaming feel and to get used to that layout of control. All right, everybody, thank you all so much for watching this video. And speaking of gaming and PCs, I am going to be uploading some more videos about PC gaming content, budget PC gaming content. So if you're into that and you want to see more content, please feel free to hit the like button down below. You can't hit the dislike button anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> and click the red subscribe button and leave any feedback that you might have for me in the comment section below. With that said, everybody, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.